All right, thanks everyone for joining. Um, it's a privilege to, for you to be here this evening. Uh, thanks for taking the time to join this session. So quickly, I'm going to introduce myself. I'm going to talk about the company as well. And I have a few slides to share. I'll go through that quickly as well. And then I'll call on the facilitator if you are to enroll, who will take you on the journey uh, to share more light into the life of uh, a software tester as well. And finally, we take question and answer, then we wrap up for the evening. So without further ado, let's get started. So uh, my name is Akin Oladeji, and I happen to be the, the founder of a company called Learn with Pride. And what do we do at Learn with Pride? Um, we are an IT uh, training company that focuses on helping those that wants to transition from either non-IT or non-technical space into uh, IT space. So we run different IT trainings, uh, ranging from project management to business analysis to Scrum Master, Product Owner, uh, software testing, DevOps engineer, data analysis, um, web, web development, like eight different IT trainings that we run. And why we different is because we focus on what is important. We don't beat around the bush. Uh, we focus on the practical training and hands on experience as well. Because um, nowadays people think, or not nowadays, people's perspective is, you know, you need to have a certification in the field that you are transitioning into before you stand the chance. Uh, but that is a lie from the pit of hell. Because what is the essence of you having a certification, but you don't know how to do the job? Which company is going to employ you despite your certification? No company, because most companies now, they are looking for someone who can do the job. Not someone who has the paper to show that, oh, I've read for this certification and I passed it. No, they are looking for who can eat the ground running. And that is what we, that is what we specialize on, eating the ground running. As in, we train you on what is important, what you need to know for you to be able to get that job at the end of the program. That is what we focus on. And not only uh, do we focus on the practical training, also you have the opportunity to work on a live project where uh, you'll be working as part of a full Scrum team, uh, you know, uh, with the likes of the developer, Scrum Master, Product Owner, Business Analyst, uh tester and sometimes you are ux in your team that will give you more exposure into how things are done in um in agile settings and also in sdlc which is software development lifecycle as well so that is a full exposure that you are going to get for anyone that enrolled on the journey um so you enrolling on the journey you have to have it at the back of your mind that we are not we are not training you to go and pass ISTQB, you know, but we are training you for you, you know, if you are to get a job tomorrow, how you are going to function uh, effectively on that role. That is what we focus on. It's more like a day in the life of a software tester. That is what we focus on. So that is about the company. The company has been going strong for the last four years, over four years now. And we've helped so many, so many students, so many people have passed through us over the last four years in all the courses that we offer. So that's about the company. About myself, I transitioned as well uh, to become a software automation engineer. Actually, that is where the old lane we price started. You know, my background was in accounting. I've got masters in accounting as well, but it, um, I was tired of what I was doing. I needed a change badly. And the only thing that came knocking at my door when I was looking for that transitioning um, change is software automation. You know, I embarked on the course. It was a three month course as well. Um, and I asked them because it was it wasn't a manual testing. It was, you know, automation, straight to automation, where you have to learn programming language like C Sharp for you to be able to do your job, which is technical, you know, coming from someone who his background is non-IT or non-technical, you know. And they, I asked the question, you know, someone coming from a non-IT or non-technical, can I actually do this job? Can I actually do this training? And not only do the training, 
get job at the end of the training. And the guy said, you know what? If you can devote your time, dedicate your time, there's nothing impossible to achieve. You know, with that mindset, it wasn't easy. The journey wasn't easy, but I made the sacrifice, you know. I sacrificed my sleep, my time to ensure that I know it. Not only know it, know it to the extent that I can compete with people uh, that's been doing it in the industry for the last two, three years. And to cut the old story short, two weeks after I finished that training, I got my very first role. Not even as a senior automation engineer, that was the first role I got. You know, it was shocking. And to call the old story short, um, you know, not only, you know, am, am I doing the job? I I also train other people as well to become like me. So that is the that is the extent. That is the kind of thing that you can achieve as well if you set your mind. So the old learn we pride today started with just one training, which is software automation training. And from the success of that one. We build every other trainings around that up to the extent that we have a full training uh, today. So what am I trying to say with the story is for anyone, whether you come from a technical background or non-technical background, but you desire a change, you know, you desire, you know, you want to transition, but you don't know how to transition. You don't know how to go about it. You know, this is the right place for you. You know, you are actually at the right place because uh, we are going to take you on the journey. We are going to walk the walk with you. Uh, and one of the most important when it comes to career transitioning as well is support. If you don't have the full support, if you are not supported, you know, you might just in the middle of the journey, you might just say, you know what, I'm not feeling this thing. I want to back up. I want to go back to what I was doing before. It's because you don't have adequate support on the journey. So it is important when transitioning to see that, to have that organization, that person, that's someone who can assist you, support you, mentor you while you're going through that transitioning. And that is what we represent. So, um, that is that about myself, that is that about uh, the company, but why software testing? Why is it in demand or why is it the right course or the right training for you to transition into? Uh, since after COVID, things change rapidly after COVID. And this is one of the advantage that uh, COVID actually brings away because it now opens the window for remote working. You know, you don't have to live in the UK. You don't have to live in the US before you secure your remote work. As long as you know your onions, as long as you can demonstrate that you know what you're talking about, you know, you can secure a remote job from any part of the world. You might be living in Zimbabwe. You can secure a remote job with a company in Hungary. You might be living in Nigeria. You can secure a remote job with a company in the UK. We've seen this happen many times. But you can only tap into this space when you have the necessary skills, when you have the necessary knowledge that it's required for you to compete with the people um, that has been doing it in the industry for the last two years. So the journey, this journey of software testing, when you enroll with us, is like you are entering into a partnership with us because it's a 50-50 uh, partnership. We are going to do our 50 uh, percent, which is providing you with a platform, equip you with the right tools, right knowledge, uh, put you on the project, you know, give you the platform to excel. And the other 50 percent has to come from you, which is, you know, you need to you need to uh, get your hands dirty. You know, you, you, don't, you don't have to. There's no room for you to take the back seat. The training, the training might be twice a week. But your journey shouldn't be restricted to twice a week. Your journey has to be an everyday journey for the duration of the program. And that is the only way you can compete with those who have been doing it in the industry because there's no magic. Your input will equal to your output at the end of the day. You know, so that is why you need to get your hands dirty. You need to go above and beyond what has been covered in the class. And you can be rest assured, if you do your own 50%, plus our own 50%, we can attain the 100%. And with that, at the end of the program, you are more than ready, you know, to go to start applying for jobs and to secure your very first role as a software tester. All right. So um, quickly, let me go through my slides and 
Um, I'll come back to any questions later on um, in the session. So quickly, let me go through my slide. Uh, ba, ba, ba. All right, so why software testing? In the UK, I'm going to be using UK as a point of reference because that is where I live. But this is this doesn't matter, regardless of where you live, whether in the UK, Nigeria, any part of the world, you know, it's still a very high, um, it's a very high paying industry. So in the UK, the permanent rule, if you are considering a permanent rule, you're looking from 45,000. If you are considering a contract rule, you're looking from 350 a day, you know. Imagine you're getting 350 a day, uh, and if the contract is even three months, 350 a day for a month is like 7,000 pounds a month. You're getting 7,000 times three months. That is still a lot of money. Using UK again as an example, the average salary in the UK is between the 18, that majority gets, 60 to 70% gets, is between 18,000 pounds to 35,000 pounds per annum. And you just completed a four month program and you can bag a 45,000 row, 50,000 row, 60,000 row. Then you've done, you've done really well. You know, you've done really well. Aside, uh, it's one of the high paid occupation. Also is it falls uh, within the shortage of skilled worker in the UK as well. Meaning you can be in your home country, apply for a job, they like you, you pass the interview, they can, apply for a sponsorship visa for you right from your home country. That is another advantage that you can get aside you working remotely. Uh, you know, it's another opportunity that can come your way, but it can only come your way when you have the right skills, when you have the right knowledge, when you have what they want, uh, you know, and they cannot, you know what, they, they, they don't want to miss you. You know what, let's offer this guy uh, a sponsorship is really good. All right. Uh, also, you can work remotely from anywhere in the world. As I said, this um, this became so popular since after COVID, working remotely uh, to the extent that companies now realize that you don't have to be physically present in the office before you deliver your work. You know, you can work remotely, and you know uh, this is why people are taking like two jobs, three jobs because they can might be working with. A company, another opportunity comes with a B company, probably in another country, they take it as well. This is a, this is another good thing when you're working IT. You don't work hard. Rather, you work smart. What do I mean? Uh, apologies to um, the industry I'm going to use. Take, for example, um, a nurse. You know, they are getting really well paid as well. Don't get me wrong. But there's no way a nurse can work remotely. They need to physically go in to work and do their shift, whether it's a 12 hour shift or a 14 hour shift. To the extent that, despite the fact that they are getting really well paid, they don't have the time to even spend that money on themselves because they are always busy. The day that they are off, they are home sleeping just to catch their breath compared to you working in IT. So they are working out, they are getting the money, but they are working hard for their money. Compared to those working in IT sector, you know, that you are working smart. You are working smart in the sense that, you know, your job might be nine to five, but that doesn't necessarily mean you have to be in front of computer nine to five. As long as you can deliver your work, as long as you can finish your task, you know, you don't have to be in front of system nine to five. Probably even half of that nine to five, you'll be in a meeting. That is why people can take two jobs, three jobs, and not like they are working extra hour after that five o'clock. Even them having two, three jobs, they are still finishing five o'clock. That is working smart. You're doing two, three jobs, and everything is done within nine to five. You know, that is working smart and getting paid for that as well. So reason why many people want to transition to IT, you know, because it gives them flexibility, you know, working smart, you have the time for your family, you can do school runs, you can be uh, at the mechanic shop and still be still be working as long as you have your phone, probably to attend meetings, probably for the next two, three hours, all you are doing is just from one meeting to another meeting, you know, 
that is but you can only tap into in this uh to this industry when you have the right skills when you have the right knowledge all right let's go on so what's the roadmap if you are to come on board let's take a look quickly so the training is going to be for four months it's a very intense training I'm sure for those online now who have done their due diligence of who probably you've attended another automation, another software testing session somewhere else, or you've made inquiry somewhere else, you get to understand the advantage in what we are offering, you know, the benefits in what we are offering. Um, it's a very intense training. That is why it's a four months. Most trainings that you see out there. Probably it's, they will tell you two weekends, you become a software tester or uh, three weekends, four weekends, you become a software tester. They just want to take your money and go. Whether you understand it at the end of the day or you don't understand it at the end of, at, at the, end of the day, it's none of their problem. Since they've, they've lured you to pay and there's nothing, whether at the end of that four weekends, if you understand or when, if you don't understand, you know, they move on to the next victim. But as we don't, we are more than that. We are actually looking to get people in the industry. It's not all about money to us. Um, your success is very, very much important. So that is why we need to pass the adequate knowledge, you know, that is required for you to start applying for the jobs. Um, that is why it is so, so intense. So it's a four month practical training. Um, that will expose you to different aspects of testing. You know, different aspects of testing, and I'm talking about you'll be exposed to manual testing, you'll be exposed to mobile testing, API testing, performance testing, automation testing. Five different testing that you'll be exposed to. You know, the advantage of that is, you know, you can decide, you know what, um, I don't think I'm good in automation testing. Let me just be applying for manual testing role. Or let me just be applying for performance testing role. Or let me just be applying for API testing role. Or you know what, I really like uh, mobile testing. Let me concentrate on mobile testing. You have different, you know, you have different aspects that you can dance to, you know. You, it, you are not restricted to just one, one type of testing. So you'll be exposed to five different testing over this four months duration. And also, aside the training, aside the four months training, we are going to pull you on a live project as well. Uh, before the end of the four months, you'll be, you'll be put on a live project for another two months where you are going to be uh, part of a full scrum team and you know, you'll be responsible to deliver uh, a solution for a client. So you'll be working with the likes of the developer, um, the Scrum Master, Product Owner, Business Analyst, and yourself as a tester to ensure quality is built into the um, probably functionality that you are working on, you know? So that's another advantage. And this is not a capstone project. This is a live project that will expose you to agile ceremonies that will expose you to working from um, working in SDSC from the very beginning. You know, you cannot get this anywhere. You know, I can beat my, you know, I can beat my chest to that. And I know those who have done their due diligence or called other training organization will understand better what I'm talking about. So you get four months on a training, then another two months before the end of your four months to go on a live project where you'll be acting as a tester for the project. Now you've gone through the training. You can actually call yourself a software tester because you know what it entails now to become a software tester. You've gone through the project. You've worked with diverse teams. You know you understand what it entails to work as part of a team, to work in Agile. You know all the Agile ceremonies and all of that. But you are now ready to start applying for jobs, but you're not getting the calls. You'll be wondering, I know the job, I know how to perform the role now, but I'm not getting the calls. You're not getting the calls is because you are not visible in the market. And when you are not visible in the market, the recruiters will not be able to see you. And when they, when they cannot see you, they cannot call you for any jobs. That is why, especially for those who will be looking for 
for uh, remote jobs, foreign jobs, international jobs, it is important for you to revamp your CV to international standards for you to stand a chance. Also, your LinkedIn, you need to be, your LinkedIn has to be opt optimized because LinkedIn has now become, you know, a popular professional marketplace that recruiters now go to, to on for people, or qualified people. So you need to be in that space as well. So I cannot overemphasize how important this stage is as well. Is equally as important as it as the training itself and as a project itself. So by the time you optimize your brand, you know, uh, you upload your CV on different job sites, not only uploading them, you make them searchable so that recruiters can see you and they can call you. The reason for making it searchable is because not all jobs are posted online. Some recruiters just go on some job site just to scan through. Uh, the profile of, you know, a qualified candidate. And when they see you, that's when they give you a call. Oh, we saw your CV on so, 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 so website. Are you still looking for a job? And the conversation starts. As long as you are getting the calls, you know, you can be rest assured that you get the interviews. So when the optimization of your brand is done, then you start applying for jobs. Um, Recruiters start seeing you or they start calling you for jobs as well. Oh, we saw your profile on LinkedIn. Are you still in the market? You know, that is what you want to happen for people, for recruiters to, to start bombarding your phones, you know. And from there, you can be rest assured that you secure an interview. And this is another key stage that we help with as well, interview preparation, because we want you to go into that interview with, you know, maximum confidence with the mindset that, you know what, the job is mine. So that is why we do interview preparation with you uh, with the hope that at the end of that interview, the job uh, will be yours. So that is it before I finish, let me run you through the start of our company quickly. So from 2020 to date, uh, over 20,000 has enrolled um, in all our courses uh, across the board. And the next slide shows, this is not complete by the way, um, it has to be updated. This shows a start from January to June. So it needs to be updated because we've added more trainings like web development is not here, uh, database administrator is not here as well. So, but you can see um, software testing, automation, um, over 500 as enrolled so far this year, from January this year till date. And as a whole, 85% uh, of our students are currently working and 50% working in the public sector, why 35 in the private sector, then 15% are job ready, looking for job. Another advantage of coming on board um, is after your duration with us, after your four months program with us, um, you need people, you need professionals at your corners, especially when you start applying for jobs or when you eventually get a job and you need it, they probably ask you to go and do something and you don't know how to go about it. You need people at your corner. So you'll be able to join our alumni group as well, which comprises, which comprises of people who are currently working and those who are uh, actively searching for job as well. Uh, so it will be an avenue for you to tender or to bring anything that you are not clear with probably uh, on the job or whatever. Also, uh, we post regular jobs on that platform as well for those who are still looking for job. So it will be a nice platform for you to, to belong as well. All right, let's go on. So this is a sample job I got online. Um, this is paying 60,000. 60,000 is a lot of money, as I said, in the UK is between the, the average salary is between 18,000 and 35,000. So if you are getting the 60,000 after a four months, <laughs> after a four months training, that is a win-win, you know, that is a win-win situation. And you'll be wondering, is it, is this actually possible? It is possible, even more than possible, you know, I always give this example, um, there was a guy who finished the automation testing class uh, this year, probably around March or thereabouts. 
Um, his first row that he got was sixty some probably sixty five thousand, paying sixty five thousand per annum. Plus other benefits, is getting up to like eighty five thousand. And he before that, before he got that job, he was actually an assistant uh, care manager, earning thirty five thousand per annum. From thirty five thousand, you know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he is now getting more than double, you know, of his uh, of what he was getting before. That's the kind of space you can put yourself. Nothing is impossible. Those getting this amount, they don't have to wait. You know, they don't know more than you do. You know, that is why when you are fully equipped, you can be fully ready to take on these roles. It's like not playing a lottery. And you know, sometimes we wish, oh, you just heard the news that someone won. You wish, oh, I wish I played that lottery. Probably I could have been the one uh, who won that money, 30 million or 30 billion. But you never played. You can only wish. Same thing goes to, you know, transitioning joining as well. Probably you meant to take on a course for over six months now. You've been procrastinating. Oh, and you now saw your friend that took that training and now working in the industry, getting really well paid. You're now wishing that, oh, I wish I took the job. Uh, I took the training a few months ago. Probably me too. I'll be in this position now. But you never did the training. You never, you, you never, you never enrolled for the training because another thing is when it comes to spending on ourselves, we are always reluctant. You know, we don't want to spend on ourselves. And what if you don't invest, there's no way you can sow. When you don't sow, you know, there's no way you can reap. That is that is just a simple truth to it. But when you invest in yourself, you know, take for example, you invest 400 pounds for the course. The 400 pounds after four months might become your daily earnings, might become what you'll be earning per day Meanwhile, you were so reluctant to invest that 400 pounds a few months ago, you know, and many people will ask, ah, if I invest this money, what is the assurance that I'm going to get a job at the end of the day? You will never know until you enroll on the journey and get, and get to the other side uh, of the tunnel. You know, you cannot live on probability. Uh, am I, I am I going to get a job? Oh, this morning probably I can use it to do other things. The best gift you can give yourself is investing in yourself. You know, families might come that you know ah we need we need this money so 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 person is sick or whatever. You go and look for the money, give it, give it to them. But when it comes to spending on ourselves, we are kind of reluctant. Uh, you know, uh, which is not really good sometimes. All right, enough of that talk. Again, this is another slide. This is a contract rule, you know, paying 380 per day. That is what I'm, I was saying earlier on. Probably the amount for the training is 400 pounds for the duration of the program. You know, you invested that amount. And by the end of that training, the job that you got is paying you 400 pounds per day. It's a win-win situation. You know, the 400 pounds that you invested over four months, you are not getting that 400 pounds per day, which will make it like 8,000 pounds per month, you know? But if you if you haven't invested that money, there's no way you can get that 400 pounds a day. So this is a row paying, is a contra row paying 380 pounds per day. That is almost 8,000 pounds per month. All right, so if you are to come on the journey, uh, what are you going to get? Uh, let me quickly go through this. So, what are the benefits of you joining the program? You get to be, uh, you get the practical training. You get to work on a live project. You get the mentorship. You get the support, twenty four seven support. Also, all our courses are CPD accredited, meaning, uh, it meets the professional standard what we offer. And the certificate that we give you at the end of the program is recognized in over 60 countries. UK, Canada, Australia, USA, Ghana, Nigeria, Zimbabwe, over 60 countries, it's recognized. You can search for it on Google as well. So just search for CPD standards. Browse through their website to see more benefits that you can get having that certificate. And also on their website, you are going, if you search for our company, you are going to see our company on their website as well. All right, but on the training, 
Um, so that is what you get. CPD accredited certificate, mentorship, UK work reference, uh, interview pre preparation, and um, support as well. But what are you going to learn on the training? I made mention of this in the beginning, at the beginning. So you get to be trained on manual testing. You get to be trained on mobile testing. You get to be trained on performance testing. You get to be trained on API testing. And you get to be trained on automation testing using Cypress. These are five different testing that you'll be trained up on. You know, there's no way you can go wrong with this. And that is why it is really, really, really intense. You have to be ready for the journey before you enroll. It's not that type of a training that they will tell you two weekends, you become a software tester or three weekends, you become a software tester. No, we are taking you in as an in depth for you to really know it so that when it comes to you applying for a job, you know what you are talking about. All right. So the cost for the four months duration plus the project is actually $9.99. But for the cohort that will be starting on the 27th of this month, so this that is when the next cohort will be starting. Um, we only have eight slots as of today left for that call that will be starting on the 27th. And for anyone that will be enrolling that wants to take the advantage of you know, coming on board, we are going to be giving you a 50% discount. So anyone that wants to enroll between now and the next one week, we don't know whether in the next one week we are still going to have that eight slot available, but for anyone that wants to take make the A when the sun still shines. I want to take the opportunity uh, and enroll. You can secure your spot as early as possible. So you can get 50% discount. That will make it for that will make that will make it 499 for everything. And this 499 it is not once that you are paying. If you have it once you can pay once. But if not, half payment is actually actually required to start on the journey and the other half can be paid um, within six to eight weeks. You know, there's flexibility in payments. And again, for those who have done their due diligence, for those who have gone for to another company to uh, make inquiry about this type of training, you really know the value and the price that I'm, you know, we are giving everything away, uh, you know. So that's the, that's the offer for today. Again, we only have eight slots left for the quarter that will be starting on the 27th of this month so um if you want to enroll if you are interested if you like what you see you know you can message me on this whatsapp number for any questions after this session uh for enrollment details for anything at all you know you can take a screenshot of that number on your screen uh or you can save it on your phone that would be the best number to contact me on if you are interested to come on board if you are interested to come on this uh to come on this journey if you are interested for us to work the work with you and at the end of the day you know uh you to come on board to testify to the goodness of the training as well so that will be the best number to contact me on so for now i'm going to be pausing and i'm going to be inviting someone who will be the facilitator uh that will take you on the journey if you are to come on board uh, he's got many years of experience when it comes to software testing, all around experience, and he's going to share more light into why this is the best time for you to, you know, um, join or be among those, earning those figures, you know, uh, why you don't need a technical background or IT background to come on the journey, you know, just share more lights into the journey generally. So without further ado, uh, thanks everyone, I'm going to be coming back shortly. But for now, uh, let's welcome uh, Samo. Samo, over to you. All right, Akin, thank you. All right, so software quality assurance engineering or software testing covers so many aspects, right? So many areas. We have the manual testing, which points to the functional testing. This one does not require any knowledge of programming. You are not going to be writing code. Then we also have another aspect of software quality assurance, also 
which point to non-functional testing, checking to see the performance of the system after a software has been built. The software quality assurance engineer has to verify the, the, the application that is about to go live, that is about to push to the user's end, put the functional part and also the non-functional part as well, which point to the performance testing. Then we also have another aspect, which is the automation testing, right? We also have API testing, checking to see that what you see in the front end or a user after uh, uh, signing up on the form or creating or entering data on the front end, that that data actually gets submitted to the back end database. So API is what drives the communication between the front end and the back end. And also the database testing, another part of testing, which is known as database testing, checking to see the consistency of data and also data integrity at the back end or the database itself, right? So all of these aspects of testing will be covered in the course of this training. It's a four month training, it's a robust training, and it's a comprehensive training that you get. To, it doesn't matter your background, right? So we, over the years, we have people from different fields like Akin Shed. He came from a, a, an accounting background, but today is, is, is a voice when it comes to software quality assurance engineering. Right, so all of this will be covered, all, all these aspects of software testing that I have taken time to mention and also given a brief summary of them will be covered in the training as well. And this is a brief description summary about me, right? So as your instructor, your um, my name is there, Samuel Lubong. My qualification currently hold a master's degree in computer science and education. So I'm, I'm a trained teacher. And now I'm also registered with a, a Nigerian uh, teachers organization as well. So uh, with also international teachers organization, right? And I have background in, compu in computing science and also background in education. So I have been trained on how to teach, right? So I have over 15 years of experience in IT and also six years in quality assurance engineering. Out of these 15 years, I also have not less than five years of experience in software development, right? So I'm currently working with MTN Nigeria, right? And also new technology, which has branch in, in UK, also have branch in, in USA, but it is headquartered in India, right? So below, you can also see my, or find my LinkedIn profile below this, where you can also contact me or go to my LinkedIn profile and have more, more, more information about your prospective instructor. Right, so what is quality assurance engineering or what is software testing, right? It's simply a process of analyzing a software, a, a software item, software product, right? Typical example of software you've been using, your bank application just to detect the difference that exists between uh, the required condition and also the the expected condition, right? So the required condition will be given to you, right? So it's just comparison. You, you take the document and compare with the actual software you have at the end of the day to confirm and verify if this application has been developed as per the requirements before it is now pushed to the user's end. So we will cover all of this aspect of training, right? So we, we the training spanned across four months, right? So we, we have 30% theory, in 70% practical. Then why do companies, you may ask yourself, why do companies need software testers? One is because of security. Take for instance, you have the bank application and after the application has been built, it's been released to the end users without checking to see if there are security vulnerabilities in that application. This can open a, a, a room to an attack. It can allow hackers or intruders to penetrate and steal money or even vital and sensitive information from the company. So for the company to be sure that the product they're about to release to the end users are secure, they need to employ a software quality assurance engineer who will run this test, right? Using the ISTQB standard, 
to verify the application and report to the stakeholders, look, your application is good, it's secure, you can release it to the end users, I can guarantee you, intruders cannot penetrate, attackers cannot come in near your application, right? Then next step why, or next reason why companies also need quality assurance engineers is because it saves money, right? Typical example of this is, before now, we, we, we all heard of uh, Boeing, a uh, 737 airplane that crashed, right? We had one in Ethiopia and also one in the in Asian, around Asian, uh, uh, Asian right? So these two crashes uh, caused a, a, a lot of havoc to Boeing, the company itself, right? So Boeing itself had, Boeing, Boeing company itself lost great sum of big sum of amount, big sum of money during that process because a lot of travelers at that point boycotted Boeing aircraft. And they also, and even the uh, 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 airplane the operators at that point also grounded uh, uh, Boeing, that particular brand of Boeing, just because there was a flaw, right? So Boeing had developed this plane. After they developed this plane, they saw a defect in the hardware of the plane itself, right? The, the plane lacked stability and the engineer tried to use software just to correct that error that was caused by production defect, right? So, but then a thorough testing was not done on the application. They tried to use computer to correct this hardware flaw, right? So they released these planes, they saw these planes without thorough testing, which they had used just one sensor at the, at the plane to confirm that what, when the nose of the plane was pointing up, the sensor triggered the computer system that was that was controlling the system, the plane at that time. At that point, at that time, the pilot has no control over the plane, right? But then there was a problem because the sensor had act, acted as a single point of failure. Getting signal from only one sensor, there was no other sensors to confirm if the signal we are getting from this other sensor is correct before the computer could take an action, right? So this, this was the root cause of those two plane crashes that we recorded. And of course, this was a tragic a tragic situation which we, we, human life were, were lost. Of course, Boeing also lost a, a great amount of money. And even the uh, American, the US government also uh, uh, charged and also penalized uh, Boeing at, at that time, right? So it, it, at that point, they, they paid about 1.5 billion US dollars just for fine. And this no companies would want to find themselves in the same place that Boeing found themselves a few, few years ago. So that's why they employ software quality assurance engineers to make sure that every application before they release to the end users is thoroughly tested and verified before it's released to the end users. And the only people that are qualified to do these jobs are the quality assurance testers or quality assurance engineers as the case may be. Right. So this also points to brand reputation, right? So company also wants to protect their brand reputation, just like Boeing, right? So Boeing had lost their reputation as the world biggest aircraft manufacturer, right? Just because of those uh, errors they had in their software, which was the root cause of those two plane crashes, right? So if the application itself is not well tested, is not properly verified, and is being released to the end users, once there is issue in the production or once there is issue with the software, then the company tends to lose their brand reputation. Because of course, these companies are not the only one doing the business. They have competitors as well. And just look at your Play Store. If you are using Android phone, you notice that you have over 1 billion applications on Play Store. Just Play Store alone. I've not even mentioned the iWay Store as well. So there are a lot of applications there, meaning if you are in fintech industry, you have thousands other fintech companies as well, competitors that you have to compete with. Then you must make sure that your application is top notch, that your application is delivering on its mandate, right? That's the only way you can stay in business and also be able to generate revenue as, as, as a company. And a lot of companies care about revenue generation. Of course, that's the, the most essence why companies or individuals go into business. To generate revenue and a quality assurance engineer duty is to help organization generate revenue and in turn you get paid well some quality assurance engineers i can tell you from my years of experience and more than developers right you can quote me anyway 
most companies pay software quality assurance engineers more than they pay software developers, right? Because they know that your work is 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 what will even sell the company. Your job is also what because even even if you allow what the developer has developed to go into production and messes up the the company reputation, then the company may go out of business, right? So they value the work that the quality assurance engineer do as well. Then another reason why they, they employ quality assurance engineer is to boost customer contentment. Of course, if your application is not delivering on its mandates, your application is full of flaws or bugs or defects, then customers or consumers may have no choice than to uninstall your application. Take for instance, you want to download a game from Play Store and your application is, is malfunctioning or is not behaving as expected. The next action you do is to uninstall the application and look for another application that will work as, as, as fine as you, 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 you desire and install. And this way, the other companies that you uninstall their application may lose you as, as, as their customer. Then another reason why they also employ is to also ensure product quality. This is, this is your duty to ensure quality, top-notch quality in application before it being deployed to end users. Now, as a quality assurance engineer, you can work anywhere, any industry, any sector, you can find yourself there, right? Of course, businesses have gone digital, businesses have gone online. Most companies now generate revenue from, 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 from application. A typical example is this. You ask yourself when last you had to visit a store, and buy a recharge card just to load or recharge your phone, right? Most people don't have that time. So what you do now, you can, you, you, there are many ways online to even buy a recharge card, to even buy data. You can just open your bank application. There you are, you, 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 you can purchase airtime or you can also buy data. You can also chat, in fact, there, there's a software that you can even, there's a chatbot you can even interact with, with WhatsApp chatbot. And before you know, you are able to buy data. Even your bank, you can even chat with a chatbot via WhatsApp and you are able to transfer money from WhatsApp from your account to another account. And you are able to check your bank balance from there. And even Facebook bot as well. A lot of software. This software powers company. And from there, companies generate their revenue, right? So you ensure qualities in this application and make sure that this application is generating revenue for the organization, right? So you are a valuable asset, you are a valuable individual to the, uh, any organization you find yourself working for, right? So it's, this is a great opportunity for you to enroll in this program and also get trained. Be rest assured, if, if in fact, the, the, the present student and even the past student can attest that we deliver top-notch uh, uh, teaching when it comes to quality assurance. We are diverse. We, we have years of experience in the industry. And what you will be getting is not just theory. Getting 70% of the practical part of testing and also 30% of the theoretical part of software quality assurance engineering, right? So, yeah, we all, what does a, a software tester do, right? The software tester primarily performs software quality testing procedures on software. That's your duty, right? From the point that the, the company conceive an idea to develop a software, you are there looking at the static document, making correction at that document before it, the software is even designed, the way they get to develop the, proper, the prototype of the software by people call user interface and user uh, experience uh, uh, designers. You, you check the uh, prototype and also make valuable input to that design and all. From there, you can even find a defect or book and correct, right? Right from the point the software is, is, is developed, you are there to check how all the procedures or processes used in developing this software, right? And you make sure that the quality processes or procedure are maintained and followed through while developing this software. And you also follow through when the software has been deployed to production to the point where users are, are making use of the application to be, to be sure that this application is working as expected and that your company is generating revenue. Then there are various aspects of software testing, the black box testing, the gray box, and also the white box. Under the black box call covers the functional and non-functional, you can see the regression, progression, smoke. All of this is what you will learn in detail as a software quality assurance engineer, right? Then how to become a software tester? Simple, acquire the technical skills, right? So this is a great opportunity. We will 
give you, we will equip you with the technical skill you need to succeed in this industry, right? Then benefit, job security and high demand. As a software quality assurance engineer, you are highly sought after, right? Like I mentioned before, you are a valuable asset to any organization that you find yourself working for and they don't joke with you, right? So this is a great opportunity for you to enroll, get trained, and for you know, four months, in fact, we, we, we teach you like, at the end of the month, you will not be, at the end of the four months, you will not going to be applying to an uh, intern role, right? We will make sure that you, we take you from intern role to uh, the intermediate level where you can even apply for senior or apply to senior roles as well, as well and also start generating six figure as a salary, right? So it's a great opportunity to enroll and get trained. And there's much for you to learn in this training. Thank you, Akin. Yeah, thanks, Samuel. Um, please, if you have questions, you can start to, you can start to raise your hand. Uh, I'll be calling you shortly. So if you have any questions, Please raise your hand and I'll be calling you shortly. Uh, one second. All right, let me share my screen and we can take it from there. So as I said, uh, while someone was giving his presentation, uh, two slots um, is gone already. So we only have six left for the court that will be starting on the 27th of this month. Uh, please just bear with me. I'm trying to manage my screen. All right. So uh, please, if you want to take advantage, as I said, there's currently 50% discount on it. So that will make it 499. And this 499, you don't have to pay at once if you don't have it. You can start with half payment and the other half can be paid within six to eight weeks. Um, you know, after you've after you've started. So, um, if you've done your again, I'll go back to that. If you if you've called other training organization up and re request for how much it cost, I'm sure you know that what we are giving away for four ninety nine worth over one thousand two hundred pounds. That is a fact, you know, and I can beat my chest to that anywhere. And it is not only because we are making it cheap doesn't mean we are we are dishing away quantity. No, we are not. You are actually getting, you know, more than the value uh, of your money, more than what you paid. You are getting more than you know what you paid for. Many many of those who has gone to enroll for the 1,500, 2,000 pounds one, thinking that because it is expensive, they are going to get a lot out of that. You know, they are still coming back to me, you know, uh, for us to take them on a journey again because what they spent that huge amount of money or it was basically a waste of their time. You know, so we are not just scratching the surface. We are going in deep to the extent that, you know, we are giving you varieties. We are not only restricting you to, oh, manual testing, you only know how to do manual testing. No, you are all run testers. You are all run, even though there are some that have been doing this testing for how many years now, four or five years, that they can not only, they can boost, they can boost of, you know, I can do API testing or I can do uh, mobile testing, you know? some of them will only tell you oh, it's only manual testing I can do probably or manual and API testing but you having five different testing knowledge and you can decide to go anywhere you want to you know leverage on any one of them um, I, I I think personally it's a great opportunity um, Mark you raise your hand you can unmute and ask your question yeah thank you very much uh, uh, Chief uh, my name is Mark Benjamin Katamba, based in Kampala, Uganda. I've uh, been in the software testing industry for it's coming to five years now. And I just would like to ask uh, my question that 
uh, from what you've presented, it seems you look at people who are not from a technical background. So I'm wondering if someone has a technical background, but they would like to strengthen their grasp of the, you know, testing, uh, you know, you get what I mean, like to grasp, to, to, to strengthen their grasp of software quality assurance as a career, and maybe they need mentorship and, you know, stuff like that. How do you handle such people? Like, do they also come and start from scratch or like, how do you really handle them in terms of, you know, the training and the pricing of the course? And another oh. question is, uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, go on. Yeah, another question is, uh, um, is this, is like, do you offer this entirely remotely or clarify a bit on that as well, please? Thank you. All right, my question to you is, you are currently working in the software testing space, right? Yes. So what areas, what other areas do you want to improve on? What are you doing at the moment? Are you a manual tester at the moment looking to, you know, go into automation, go into API, go into mobile testing? What exactly are you doing at the moment? Because if you, uh, yeah, if you can answer that, then that will, that will enable me to understand the situation much more better yeah currently um yeah i do a bit of uh, uh manual testing mostly manual testing but i do a bit of automation testing as well i use a codeless automation tool called catalon studio it's what i've used for the past about three years uh mainly web automation as well i do uh i've also used uh cypress but it's been a while since i last interacted with cypress so I would like to have a uh, hands-on experience in performance testing, mainly. Just performance testing? Yes, just performance testing. All right. Um, it's possible to, uh, although it comes as a package, um, but if it's just a performance testing you're after, then it's possible, it's possible as well. Just that um, the way it operates is each month, uh, we try to focus on one type of testing each month, All right? So if you don't want to do mobile testing, if you don't want to do uh, automation testing, if you don't want to do other ones, it is possible uh, to, to do that only one that you are interested in. But for that, you might need to chat me up separately on the number on your screen, then we can talk better and further on that. Then in terms of your second question, yes, uh, all the, the trainings is done remotely and also you working on a project, live project is done remotely. Why? The reason is um, everything changes, everything has changed since after COVID again uh, as well. And also most people transitioning now, they are transitioning because they want to tap into that space of working remotely. And what is the best how is the best uh how best can we you know uh induct them into that system is by you know um making the training uh virtual it's a live session it's not a pre-recorded session it's a live session online and also the working on the project is like you working remotely with different uh, your team members all around the world your developer might be in zimbabwe your scrum master might be in the uk you know, we are giving you a real life scenario because when you eventually get that job, that might be the situation or scenario you'll be working at as well. You know, you're, you might be, you as a tester might be in Zimbabwe, your developer might be in India. You know, you have cross-functional teams, you know, that you are working with. So the training will be fully remote. The working on the project will be remote as well. And for the other one, uh, you can chat me up privately and see how we can make that happen. Great, thank you. You're welcome, Mark. Uh, Koma, you raise your hand. Yeah. Hi. Good evening, everyone. Yeah. I'm a. I'm. I'm. I'm based in London, UK, and I'm very aggressively looking for the software automation twist. Couple of my friend already in industry, and they insist me to do this course, and that's why I am here. I have a couple of questions. Might it help everyone? First of all, are all of you uh, listening to me clearly? Yes, yes, I can hear you, yes. Perfect, that's fine. So, 
Oh, what is your methodology? Are you supplying the theory, uh, theory documents as well, or we need to find out online ourselves from AI like YouTube or Google, or are you providing a theory? Sorry, I didn't get that. Are we are we supplying what? Theory, theories, theory. Theory theories. Documents? Oh no, yeah, no, 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 no. Because I said, because I said we focus on practical doesn't mean we are not going to take you through the fundamentals no okay. we are still going to take you the, the, through the theories okay. uh just that we focus more on practical okay. so we cannot start any take for example we can api we cannot just dive in into the practical uh -huh. we need to tell you about the theories before we dive in into the practical if Beautiful. you understand yeah so just that we focus more on practical but we cannot we can't jump any we can't jump you know we can't jump steps we still need to start from the very scratch and that scratch will involve theories, then also practicals. I impress. Thanks. My first, my answer of my first question sorted. Now, how, okay. So how should we, do we learn? This is online, but every week one class or every day, couple of hours? How All right. Learn? Because I, I, why I ask you, I am working as an accountant full day. Sometimes I do long shift as well, but if I have intimation previous beforehand, so I can manage my another job because that is my bread and butter. All right. So yeah. for that, the training is twice a week, and twice it will be week. it will be Wednesdays, every Wednesdays and Thursdays from eight p.m. to ten p.m. UK time. Okay, so four four hour every week. Yes, four hours, four hours every week. But remember, I said when I was doing my presentation that uh -huh. for you to be able to compete with those who have been doing it in the industry at the end of the four months, uh -huh. you need to commit more time every week into it. Actually, okay. you need to commit extra time every day, probably like two hours every day into the process. Your two hours every day might be in the midnight. But the uh -huh. training class uh -huh. is every Wednesdays and Thursdays from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Yeah, and, and, and then you will give us a homework and we need to do that. Yes. So that, that homework, if suppose we are batch of 50 people, so out of that 50 people, if suppose you give me a homework, so I, I do that homework on my own or you separate me in a group, like five people, six people group, we are doing homework. I'm totally, totally, I will tell you, as I am an accountant, I did my graduation in 2001. So since 20 years, I am doing only accountancy. On computer use, I know only how to check email, how to use Microsoft Office spreadsheet, not Excel, that's it. Yes, you but don't still, have, uh, yeah. you, you have absolutely nothing to worry about. So yeah. we give it, so we give a task out. The okay. task has to be done individually. Okay. But the essence of that is, or the reason for you coming on the platform is don't be afraid to make mistakes. Even okay. if you make a mistake with the task, you okay. are still going to be corrected. You know, the ah, platform okay. is because the, the best way we learn is when we make a mistake and you, ca you call on someone to help you out. That is when the actual learning is actually taking place. So you'll be given a task during the, uh, during the training to attempt different things. And also, remember I said before the end of your four months, mm -hmm. I'm going to be placing you on a live project for another two months. So okay. that, that two months will still come within your four months, whereby you'll be working as a tester, software uh -huh. tester for that, your team. And your okay. team will comprise of, you know, the developer, the software, the, the tester, the scrum master, the product owner, the business owner, a full scrum team mm -hmm. like you have at workplace as well. Okay. Just for you to have more visibility about what it entails working as part of a team and also working in an agile settings as well. So um, we are not leaving you alone. For anything, you have the support, you have the mentorship. Anything that is not clear, you have the, you'll be added to a group, a WhatsApp group, whereby you can, okay. you can, you can ask your questions. Uh, you I, know, yes, that's, that. that's we are look, That's I am particularly looking for because on my own I cannot do. So I need someone's help twenty four seven. Like whoever aggressively want to learn this. Then now another question. There are there are lot many languages, and every every month another new language comes in. So do you think this is four month? Out of that four month, two month we do our work and two month on a practical. Out on this eight week only, 
do you think like manual testing mobile no, testing no it's for no 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 the practical training is for four months okay and then four plus two it means yeah so the practical training aside forget about the project now okay the, yeah. the training the training it's itself is for four months not oh, two months that's wonderful that's and 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 one more question there are lot many couple of languages and every quarter a new languages add up like c sharp you said cypress javascript yes. and yes. on this so okay so which language you focus more on it all right so for the automation we'll be focusing on we'll be using cypress for the, yes, for the API, uh, I think mean, we, we are using Postman. For the performance, we are using J we are using JMeter. So you'll be exposed to industry standard oh, tools. Yes. But don't but don't don't forget that we have many tools out there that can do oh, the same job. I but the you. but the thing is, like and let's say you learn how to drive a car using uh, an automatic car, right? Yeah. You yeah. learn you learn how to drive using Mercedes, automatic yeah. Mercedes Benz. Yeah. That doesn't mean if you are to be given uh, a Toyota or a Camry, which is automatic, <laughs> you won't be able yeah. to drive. You will yes, still be able to I drive exactly. it. You understand? So it's the same thing. So you learning one, two, yeah, uh -huh. that doesn't mean you, we might teach you how to use Cypress. But I probably understand. your first job that you're going to get will be on C Sharp. Yes. But because the knowledge you have on Cypress we yeah. help you to be able to survive on C Sharp. I get it. I get it. I get it. So the way we choose our tools is we look at what is in demand at the moment mm -hmm. in the market. What mm -hmm. are the recruiters asking for more on all jobs at the moment? And that's the way we select the tools that we select okay. that we trained on. Okay. But Next. all these tools, you know, they have, you know, we have many of them out there. You just need to know how to use one. Yeah successfully and if you know how to use that one you will be able to cope on any other one out there as well i get it and and last and very important question is like you just said in in this in starting of meeting that okay if company hires company hires experienced people so like yeah definitely company hire talented but with talent company wants experienced people as well so as i am an accountant like 17 or 20 years experience accountant i i've been in this automation industry in my cv if i put 15 year accountant and just recently i complete my this course i am i am damn sure as uk market no company will hire me as a 20 year accountant oh. and just last month complete my automation course so what is solution for that all right uh koma mm. i just want to tell you for every problem Mm -hmm. there's always a solution okay so you have that's, solution for that there's a there's always Perfect. a solution there's, there's, there's yes. always a solution that's yes. i want to listen i understand no problem yeah yeah no problem Perfect. for any other thing that you want to clarify you can just message me or chat me up i will do that i will do that i think it helps many people thanks very much thanks everyone to be patient you, thank you you're welcome koma thanks you so much thanks I appreciate it yeah. hi good evening sir yeah good evening good evening this is frederick um yeah frederick i live in the um in the uk Pendal. yeah hello yeah i'm always yeah i'm always speaking of lagos nigeria uh can we oh, Lucia, i'm on the line hello can we can we just hold on that is the reason i asked everyone to raise their hand uh please femi if you can hold on uh frederick please go ahead yeah, so um, in the time of the lesson delivery, you said 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. 10 p.m. Thursdays and Fridays. Um, uh, no, uh, no, no, uh, Wednesdays and Thursdays. Wednesdays and Thursdays. But because of childcare issues, I have taken a night job, um, which the delivery time may affect me. But it's not always Wednesdays and Thursdays that I'm on shift. Um, for such a person like me, what are the flexibilities uh, Lend pride gold um, afford me. All right. So what we do? So the Wednesday and Thursday that is um, constant. But what we do is you register on our elements uh, platform. That is the learning learning management system. And every session uh, will also be recorded. And you just have to log into your dashboard. You have access to the recording, and you can catch up with the recording. If there's anything after watching that recording that is not clear to you, remember, you'll be added to two groups. 
one is an help desk group and the other one is a normal WhatsApp group for everyone on the training. So for anything that is not clear to you, after you catch up with the recording, you can put it on the help desk with a screenshot and you can be rest assured that someone on that group will respond back to you with the solution or way forward if someone is not available at that moment. So there's always a support. You, you always can uh, catch up on the recording as well. My, my last question would be, um, I've heard people with IT background and accounting backgrounds, but I mean, I'm a journalist who moved to the UK uh, with no or little IT background. Am I still qualified to take on the course sir? Yes, remember I said, when I said about, when I um, talked about my story as well, my background was accounting. All I knew before was debit and credit, trial balance, non-IT, you know, I came from a non-IT background. But because I was so tired of what I was doing then, I am back on this journey. And the training me I did back then was only focused on software automation, mm -hmm. nothing like manual, nothing like mobile, nothing like, you know, it was purely automation, which was really technical. But because I was, I configured my mind, I made up my mind, you know what, come rain, come shine, I'm going to learn it. You know, I was able to do so. And I got my very first job two weeks after I finished that three month course back then. So yes, it is possible. What is required on this journey is your determination. As long as you determine that, you know what, come anything, come any challenges, you know, I'm not going to give up. You are going to excel at the end of the journey. You have the, the most important that you should have on the journey is the support. We are giving you the support. You have the support. So as long as you can say to yourself that, you know what, um, I want to embark on this journey. And not only embarking on this journey, at the end of this journey, I want to know you to the extent that I want to compete with those who have been doing it for two, three years. You know, yes, you can do it. Because we are not assuming, we are not assuming you know it already. We are starting from the scratch on any of this testing that you'll be embarking on. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Thanks. China, you raise your hand. Yes, sir. Hello. Uh, good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening, China. Yo, uh, um, with in line with so many questions and all that, it has uh, really cleared some of my questions. But, but I want to ask, like me now, I don't have any knowledge about this. I hope <laughs> the teacher will take it easy with maybe most of us that yeah. don't have any knowledge about yeah. it. And then, especially me, I don't. I hope I. I can handle it. Let's let's hear from the horse's mouth. Samuel, yeah. I believe that question is to you. Yes. So the the training is structured in a way that it does not require you to even have uh, any background in computing. Even if your computing knowledge is zero, we will do our best to make sure you you follow up, and we will also uh, take it from the ground up make sure you understand even the technicality that involved in software testing. So it doesn't matter your background, it does not matter your field, it does not matter your level of knowledge in computing, you raise assured that you 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 just cook with us. Right. Thanks Samuel. Trina, yeah, are you are you okay with that? As I said again, the most yes, yes. the, the yes, most important the most important is your willingness uh, to learn. If you are, see, I'm not saying the journey will be easy. You come across challenges, but you have people there to help you. You have your other uh, colleagues, we, I'll call them colleagues, other students, same class as you, you know, that will be there to help you out. So you have someone that will be there to help you out. So you have the support system. You just have to tap into them. I'm sure when you get in the class, you'll notice some people probably they know it, they, they, their level of understanding is more than yours. People like that, you just have to identify them. You can private chat them separately after the class. Oh, I realize that you know this thing, um, please, is it, is, is it possible? Probably we can have a session together, probably 15, 20 minutes just to show me this, that, and that. You know, that those are the benefits you can get from it. 
even some of do this thing aside the two days for those that are struggling uh, i think it does uh, sometimes organize a separate session for them to take them all over again on the areas that they are struggling on so you have different support system that you can tap into you know you just have to come out of your shell be ready to learn be ready to make mistakes because you learn from your mistakes and do not ever give up that is the most important do not give up Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Yeah. Hello, this is Frederick again. Yeah, hello, Frederick. You are not raising your hand, though. Uh, sorry, uh, my my. Okay, I've raised my hands now, sir. I'll just go on with your question. Yeah. Um. You a, a guy was asked a question that he is already into manual uh, software testing. Yes. I don't know if he's still on. I don't. I forgot his name. I'm not sure whether he's still on. Okay. What do you want? What do you want? I, I wanted, I wanted to just be his friend, perhaps learn from him, so that he will be helping me alongside. <laughs> Don't worry. On the journey, you have many people, you know, who can help you. That is why I said, enrolling with us, you become part of a family. You know, yes, you sir. have many people around you that can help you out. It is not only about four months duration, and you forget, or we forget about you. No. You still have access to tap in into those people, you know. You make, you know, a lasting friend that you know you can collaborate together and do certain things together, you know. So you the platform is there for you, you just have to make use of it. All right. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Oh, Lucia, when you raise your hand. Oh, Lucia Gun, are you there? If you are talking, we cannot hear you, Olusha. Hello, All right, we'll come back to we'll come back to Olusha Gun. Uh, so situation report as it is. Excuse me, sir. Yes, who is talking? Ibrahim Waziri. All right, go on. Sorry, sir. Um, I live in Ireland here. And um, anyway, you're giving me your own testimony of your background as well. You said about uh, the 499, there's going to be installment payment. So I'm just wondering how much is the installment payment going to be? So half payment is required to start. So that'll be 249 is required to start. And the other, the other 249 can be paid within six to eight weeks after you've started. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right. Um, Olusha Gun, are you there now? No. All right. So as it is now, situation reports that as it is now, we only have five slots left. Uh, the situation reports that as it is now. So I believe again, I'll hammer on that for those who have done. You know, why well, you, you've been somewhere else, you've called them up you really know the benefit of what we are offering and you know um that's why it's you know it's a good opportunity to leverage on uh, make very good use of because it might not come often where you see offering five different type of testing uh for that amount you know and I, again as i said the amount you are investing might eventually become what you'll be earning per day after the completion of this course. So, you know, um, if we can leverage on the opportunity in front of us, you know, you have nothing to regret. It's a win-win situation. I can assure you that it's a win-win situation with everything that you are going to get on the journey. You know, uh, you'll be shocked and you'll be surprised how much you are going to learn on the journey as well, as long as you are ready to learn because it's not everybody enrolling that are ready to learn you know but as long as you are ready to get your hands dirty every single day for the duration of the program you can be rest assured that you know what you too will testify to you know either securing a permanent role or getting a contract role because the jobs are out there 
that's why people are doing two jobs, three jobs at the same time. Again, uh, they are working smart, not working hard. You think they them taking two jobs, they are working hard. They are working smart. And that is what you want to do. You know, we want to work smart, you know, and still get really well paid. So I don't know if anybody still have any other question to ask. Again, the next cohort will be starting on the 27th of this month. That will be on a Wednesday. The training will run twice a week, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Wednesdays and Thursdays. Uh, 8 p.m. to 10, 10 p.m. UK time, Wednesdays and Thursdays for four months. And as I said earlier on as well, so that's for the training. The training standard is four months. But while the training is going on, uh, before the end of that four months, I'm going to be putting you um, on a live project to support um, uh, a full scrum team and act as their so probably one or two of you act as their tester to ensure that quality is built into anything that they are developing for the client. That will expose you for that to agile way of working. That will expose you further to working as part of, uh, as part of a team. Um, and other bits and pieces will be learned on that journey as well. Conflict management, uh, everything, because it's you working on a live project, you know. So those are the things you get on the journey. So I don't know if anyone has got a final question to ask before we draw the curtain for tonight. And hopefully I'm going to see some of you on the journey, uh, hopefully. For you, if you have any questions again after this session, if you want to ask me anything, the best WhatsApp number to contact me on is on your screen right now. So please note down the number and you can chat me up on that number anytime uh, as regards enrollment, as, as regards any questions that you may have after this session. Olu Shegun, are you there now? If you are talking, we cannot hear you. You can drop your message on, on the chat box if you want to ask any question. If not, just message me with your question and I will be answering them on the WhatsApp chat. All right, seems there is no other question from anyone. Thank you, everyone, for your time. Hopefully, I'm, I'm going to see some of you on the journey. And, you know, again, let's make the best use of the you know, of the advantage presented to us uh, because it doesn't come often, you know. So thanks everyone for your night. Do have a good night first and see you on the journey. Thank you and God bless. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. Do you have a uh, question? Yes, yes. Uh, how about the recorded session? How can we get the oh, recorded session right. of this? Sorry, sorry, I didn't talk about that. So the recorded session, if you're on the WhatsApp group, it will be shared on the WhatsApp group. Or you can go to you can go to our um, YouTube channel. Just search for Learn with Pride on YouTube. It will be posted on our YouTube channel uh, by tomorrow as well. So it will be okay. posted on the WhatsApp group and also on the YouTube channel. At Land with Pride. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Have a good one. Thanks, everyone. Bye bye.